YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a how to make an Instagram video and a part two. So the reason I'm making a part two is because in my previous video I did the video style paid version and you guys said that you couldn't afford to pay for video style or you didn't want video style or you had an Android. So today I'm here to teach you guys how to make an Instagram fan edit for free. And I know a few of you guys are going to ask this question in the comment section but no I do not know how to remove the watermark for free so please do not comment that um the only way I know how to remove it is by paying for it oh, I know but this is still a free way that you can make video edits and who knows you can put your big 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 watermark over it here is how to make an Instagram fan edit part two for free all right guys ah. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is mirror your images in video style. By the way, when you do this in video style, it is all completely free to mirror your images, so you don't need to pay for this. When you've imported your photo, you just want to click new and re-effect clip. Then you just click the plus button, go to the magnifying glass and look up mirror house. And then you select reflection. Then you just apply it to your clip and you're ready to go. Then click the camera in the corner and it will take a picture and save it to your camera roll. You want to apply this to all of your clips and then take a picture. You should have photos looking like this by the end. Once you are in CuteCut, you just want to import your first photo. So with the photo, you don't want the actual mirror to show until the transition, so you just want to zoom it in until the original photo is there. So when you're importing your next photo, it always has to be under the first photo, otherwise the transition won't work. And then you grab the second photo and do that. You see what you have to do. Alright, and you can start your first transition. So the first one that I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do is the spin transition. So you want to click on the first photo and then you want to click the wand near the sun and then you want to click the plus button and add custom transition. And then adjust the little blue bars to the end of the photo. So at the end of the clip, you want to click the two little arrow spinny thingies. You know what I'm talking about. You can't see me doing it here for some reason because the picture is in the way, but I'm actually clicking the left arrow twice. As you can see, don't do it once. You have to do it twice. And then you go through the easing type at the end and select in circular right there. If you follow these steps correctly, the start of your spin should look like this. Alright, so with the second photo, at the start of the transition, you want to click the right twist arrow twice. And then at the end of the clip, you want to go to the ease in type. And select out circular. So you always have to do that one when finishing a transition. Alright, and your spin should look like this. Alright, and then you want to import the next photo and always have it above at the end of the clip. Alright, and this is how you do the zoom in transition. So obviously you want to add the custom transition and then at the end of the transition you want to zoom your clip in. And you do that just by dragging your fingers along the screen and then you add the in circular easing type. Your zoom should start like this. And then obviously at the start of the clip, you want to add the custom transition. So at the start of the transition, you want to pinch the screen and zoom your clip out like this so that you can see the mirror. And then at the end of the transition, it will zoom back in for you. And then you add the out circular easing type. Your zoom in transition should look something like this. All right, so now I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do the slide transition.
Once you've added custom transition to the end of the clip, you want to swipe your clip to the right. If you're going to swipe right on the first clip, then you swipe left on the next clip. But if you're going to swipe left on the first clip, you swipe right on the next clip. By the way guys, you always need to make sure you add the easing types, otherwise your transitions are going to look really choppy. So at the start of your next clip, you want to drag your photo to the left. And it will automatically go back to the center for you at the end of the clip and then you add the out circular easing type. Your transition should look something like this. Alright, so like the zoom in transition, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do the zoom out transition. So obviously, at the end of the clip, you add your custom transition, and then you go to the end of the transition and pinch the photo so it zooms out. Always make sure you add your easing type. Then at the start of the transition, you want to zoom the clip all the way in and it will automatically zoom out for you. Your zoom out transition will look exactly like this. All right, so now I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do the swipe up transition. So you go to the end of the clip and you want to drag your clip all the way up, but not enough to see the black. And then add your easing type. And then at the start of your next clip, you want to drag the clip all the way down. And then at the end of the transition, it will automatically go back to the center for you and then you add the out circular easing type. Your transition will look something like this. And the next one I'm gonna be teaching you guys is the corner transition. So at the end of the transition, you want to drag your clip down so it shows the corner of the mirror. It'll look something like this. So in the second clip, you want to drag the clip all the way up from the corner so that you can see the mirror. Obviously, it'll go back to the center for you at the end of the transition and then you add the out circular easing type. It'll look like this. All right, and you have your finished product. disclaimer for you guys I have never used QCut in my life and the simple transitions took me a long time to figure out like a long time but I did it anyways and I am a newbie exactly like you guys but anyways I hope you guys enjoy the simple transitions and I can't wait to see your edits and that is the end of the tutorial guys thank you so much for watching this video i really hope this helped you guys and i hope to see your edits if you make edits make sure you tag me and i'll see you guys in the next youtube video